mostly speak they mostly speak uh um Russian the older people there's still some older people that don't speak any Russian and but it's one of those things where like between the old generation and the kids it's like the old people speak mostly Venki people our age speak you know half and half and the young kids speak just Russian <laughs> uh and so you know it's kind of losing fast it goes really fast if they don't actually I heard Jose say this when you talk to him but it's very true like their language is really well suited for the forest and for reindeer husbandry and all that, but it doesn't work very well in village life. So, uh, so they end up just, you know, just gets replaced with Russian. Cause yeah. basically if you go to a village and look at anything, it's like, there's no Avenki words for any of this stuff. You know, it's all Russian words. So they just switch over to Russian. And if you're out in the forest, you know, that's where I don't know Avenki, but I got familiar with it enough that I was like, Oh, that's really cool. Cause you could, it was such a forest language that you can, you know, for example, tell your way directions through the forest really accurately in a way you couldn't in English or Russian or something where it's like they have a special word for a type of forest that has, you know, red, red on the ground and a lot of tamarack trees and, you know, <laughs> and you, so you can kind of, and a different type of word for all these different types of forest and, and you can see accurately, tell directions and stuff through the forest in a way you couldn't otherwise similarly with reindeer you know they have so many words for reindeer with every word meaning some different variation <laughs> and this and that and so it's really quick and efficient and uh good in that context but not as much outside of that context